later in this video. Escape is only possible for one group, either the girls or the boys. Will you help me up? <laughs> no, I have better things to do with my time. Later, loser. Yeah, in your face, Mal. <laughs> Who are you? Where are we? It looks like one of those YouTube mansions, but who would send us here? I don't know. The last thing I remember is all that stuff with CC Pink. Besties, if you saw the last video, then you know that CC Pink just did a face reveal and we found out she's the Lady of the Lake. It is I, the Lady of the Lake. Some of the Disney princesses showed up with superpowers and Ariel was able to retrieve the two spirit stones and take her mask so she was banished back to the lake. I'll be taking this as well. Have fun at the lake. You'll regret this. And if that wasn't trippy enough, we just found out that the Lady of the Lake is Mari, AKA the Queen of Dreams from the Dream World's sister. We are sisters, however, my sister and I differ greatly on how to handle a situation. And the two of them created the spirit stones in the first place. Yeah, she was all power crazy trying to get those stones back. That's why she made that deal with Ben in the first place. Just take them before I change my mind. So it's a good thing we were able to put her back in that lake, at least, for now. Whoa, for real? That is all whack. Oh yeah, we haven't seen you guys in a while. What you been up to? We've been playing a lot of Among Us. Hmm, are you sure? Because we got a text from the Violet Mage telling us not to trust you guys. No way, we got a text from Violet Mage too. But about us not trusting you. Messies, why would the Violet Mage pit us against each other? Was she the one that sent us to this mansion? Make sure you smash that like button if you also think something sus is going on around here. Welcome to the Contra House. We hope you enjoy your stay. Escape is only possible for one group, either the girls or the boys. One will win in a series of girls versus boys challenges and be allowed to leave. The other will stay. That did not sound like Violet Mage. Well, whoever put us here obviously didn't want to reveal themselves. What did that voice call it? The Contra House? With all these play buttons everywhere, this looks like a huge YouTube mansion. Yes, in Latin it means against, or like versus. Boys versus girls, who's it gonna be? Well, obviously the girls will win, then we'll come back and save you guys. Um, more like we can come back and save you guys. We're not gonna get anywhere arguing. I guess we have to do these girls versus boys challenges. Besties, put hashtag boys versus girls in the comments if you're excited to see what challenges we're gonna have to face. All right, what's the first challenge? I am pumped! First challenge, build the ultimate clubhouse. Oh sweet, I have so many ideas. Besties, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you can find out who wins this thing. Also, make sure after every challenge to let us know in the comments who you think wins, boys or girls. Come on ladies, let's do this. What do you think girls, make it pink or make it blue? Why not split the difference and make it purple? <laughs> it's more my style anyway. Purple it is. Now where should I put my sewing corner? Besties, what all would you put in your clubhouse? Let us know in the comments. I think this will be the perfect place for a snack bar. We could have like coffee, apples, chocolate. We could have a little sign for each area. Yeah, let's do that. I wonder how the boys are doing. I still think we should shift things out a little bit so we can fit all the sleeping bags in here. And I'm telling you that if we do that, this whole thing's coming down. Okay, fine. Carlos, did you find some snacks? Not much at all. You know for an escape room style mansion that pits friend against friend, this place is woefully understocked. Besties, check out our awesome pad. It's got a den and then um, like a front area and then there's like the part where we like keep our snacks and play our games and uh, in that, yeah, it's pretty much just this one spot. Evie, did you hang that painting? Sure did. The challenge is over. Girls win. Yes! Great job, ladies. Woo! <laughs> Honestly, I'm not surprised. Our pad's pretty sweet. What? Who's even judging this? The house? Yeah, did they or, or it see the dartboard? For your next challenge, one of you from each team will play and you must guess the YouTuber by only their voice. Okay, we can totally do this. We love YouTube. Besties, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Let us know in the comments. Ben, hey. No hard feelings, right? Just a little friendly competition? Sure, just a game, totally cash. You will hear a series of YouTubers' voices only. Best out of five will be the winner. Bring
Bring it on, Mal! You're going down! <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen this competitive side of Ben, I guess. Besties, if you can guess these YouTubers, put your answers in the comments. Number one. Okay, so you, you guys know that clowns are my biggest fear, but we have to sneak into that carnival so we can get Kingpin's mask. Oh, wait, I know this one. It's Rebecca Zamolo. Besties, do you watch Rebecca Zamolo? Let me know in the comments. And if you guess that, go back and like your comment. Oh. Correct. Number two. Spider just, my brother's been shipped off to Mexico. V, we need to get out of plane and get down to Mexico right now. Melvin and Regina, we need you to help us. I think that's Chad Wild Clay. Correct. Number three. You know what? That's just my fault. I don't mind paying for it. But you could keep it and just maybe throw it in the oven or something. I'm not cooking my own pizza. I don't care if it's free. Is this a YouTuber? Sounds like a short film. It is. It's got to be Darman. Correct. Yes. Number four. Lego. Lego my ego. Le We're not sponsored. Oh, I should know this. It sounds so familiar. They're acting like a couple. Ah, uh, who is it? Oh, it's Preston and Brianna. Correct. Girls and boys are now tied. Next point wins. Number five. You and me, we're a team and we're awesome. oh, it's the Super Pops. It's the Super Pops. Correct. Boys win the challenge. Yeah! Oh, we love it. Oh, oh, we love it. <laughs> yeah, in your face, Mal. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Who are you? Whoa! There's buttons on all the walls. Oh, sick, this must be a mystery button challenge. Oh, I am all over this. Okay, let's just get this over with. Ah! You have got to be kidding me. Oh, sounds like you're all washed up over there. <laughs> all right, my turn. Let's try this one. Drink the hot sauce. Oh, sweet, I love hot sauce. Woo, <laughs> giddy up. <laughs> okay, I am not doing that. Oh, hopefully this is nothing gross. Eat the dry noodles. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so weird. Um, all right. Satisfied? <laughs> okay, my turn. Um, let's try this one. <laughs> sprinkles? Oh man, they're everywhere. Hey, speaking of, besties, put sprinkles in the comments if you like them on your ice cream. <laughs> Okay, please, please, please be the escape button. What is this? Shave a section of your head. No, 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 boys win! Yay, boys! How do I turn this off? Challenge number four, a hot dog eating contest. Oh no, I can't eat nearly as many hot dogs as Carlos. Besties, do you like hot dogs? Let me know in the comments. I guess I'll just have to try my best. Do you have any ketchup? Begin. You know, doesn't it seem kind of weird that these are called hot dogs? How so? Well, you know, because they don't really have anything to do with dogs at all. I mean, they don't even really look like dogs, except maybe a Dotson. That is true. Names can be really misleading. Oh well. Time is up. Girls win. Oh goody, I'm full. Boys and girls are tied. For the next challenge, each group must recreate a Darman video. Oh man, boys have got to get back the lead. Besties, do you like Darman videos? Let me know in the comments. Oh, oh oops, I didn't see you there. Will you help me up? <laughs> no, I have better things to do with my time. Later, loser. Evie didn't know what Audrey had against her, but she knew that she couldn't let it hold her back. She threw all of her attention into her schoolwork. Okay class, this partner assignment is going to be worth half your grade this semester. And Audrey, you're flunking this class, so I hope you've been very kind to your partner. Hey, um, Evie, I'm sorry about earlier. <laughs> friends? No, Audrey, sorry, friends don't treat friends like that. Good luck with your assignment. Always be kind to everyone. Your mean spirit can not only hurt other people, but can hurt you in the end. Wow, great job, ladies. Audrey, you were really believable as the mean girl. Okay, watch it, Ben. Okay, fellas, we're up. Dude, are you actually wearing that? <laughs> what, my hat? Yeah, you look so broke. Where'd you get that hat anyway, off the street? <laughs> Ben didn't really think about what he was saying. He had plenty of money and it never really occurred to him that some people didn't have enough to get by. Then, one day... Dude, whoa, 
Are you homeless? Yeah, I am. Man, I am so sorry. I never would have said those things to you if I would have known that you were actually homeless. Maybe you shouldn't say things like that at all. Everybody matters and you don't know everyone's story, what they've been through. Get to know people and don't rush to judgment. Woo! I was feeling it, man. That has got to be a win. Girls win. Wait, what? Wait, two against one? What is this about? Relax, Ben. This challenge is about who knows Mal better. Write your answers on the whiteboards. Best of three wins. Oh, wow. Okay, um, Bessies, who do you think knows me better, Ben or Evie? I honestly don't know. Question one. What is Mal's middle name? I know this isn't right, but is it Eficent? It's Bertha! Ugh, couldn't have thought of anything cooler, Mom. Next question. What is Mal's favorite treat? Okay, this was a tough one, but I put peanut butter cups. It's gotta be gummy worms. Yes! Ugh, so good. Next. What is Mal's favorite clothing? Who doesn't love getting dressed up in a beautiful ball gown? <laughs> Me, Evie. You know that. Leather? <laughs> Actually, it's BFF Bessie's merch. And you guys, I hear they're releasing some really cool back to school merch soon. So you guys make sure to stay tuned for that. Tie breaking question. What is Mal's greatest fear? really afraid of anything but if she was going to be afraid of something it would definitely have to be giant spiders <laughs> what that is so specific mal isn't afraid of much but i know that she cares about those around her more than anything so i'd have to say that her greatest fear is to lose a loved one it's true oh you know me so well ben but wait a second that means the boys win no boys win Boys and girls are now tied. It's time for the final tiebreaker challenge. You guys, maybe we should put the competition aside for a second and try to figure out who's actually running this mansion. Yeah, who's the big cheese in charge here? And what are they getting out of keeping us all here? Well, maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe they just like the game of it all. Wait, you don't think it could be? That's right! And it's been so fun creating these challenges for you silly boys and girls. We should have known it was you! What do you want? Wait, are you working with the Violet Mage? <laughs> no! Those texts were for me! I pretended to be her so I could get you here and turn a group of you into fairies! Doesn't that sound divine? <laughs> uh, no, it does not. But since the score is all tied up, I'll just turn you all into fairies for good measure! <laughs> Join us, descendants! Us? What do you mean, us? Oh, there are lots and lots of us! See for yourself! Now game over! Look out! It worked! The stone is ours! You see, we needed a large amount of us present, including the fairy of great power. We thought it was Jane, but then we realized it's you, Mel! Me? I'm the fairy of great power? Yes, the daughter of Maleficent, the greatest dark fairy there is. And through your father, you have the power of the gods as well. Join us, Mal, by choice or by force. I can always turn you into a fairy if you make me. <laughs> Wait, I'm already half fairy, which means you're not turning me into anything. Hmm, perhaps not. But what about your heart, Mal? Let's play a little game with that. <laughs> Ben! Okay, wait, Wisp. Say bye-bye! No, Ben! He's gone. Well, well, aren't you a pretty thing? And to think, crafted from a single strand of hair left behind in the dream world. <laughs> Gothel, you're a genius! Wakey-wakey, my dear! <laughs>